Hey guys, Shane with Monkey Around, and today I am on the French Broad River with about three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen or so of the Catawba River rat. We're gonna have a good little trip. We're gonna stop here in a little bit and have lunch. So come join us. Hang out with us as we float down the French Broad. This trip started out from the KOA East campground just outside of Asheville. Myself and Adventure Outdoors loaded up our kayaks, got everything squared away, and we took off. Excellent campground, though. If you're in the area, I definitely recommend trying it out. And we headed down to Bent Creek Access on the French Broad River. Now, it's just south of Asheville. And there we ran into another YouTuber called Kayak Seven Seas. Nice guy, and we were talking about some of his time on the French Broad and getting a feel for the river. I'd never been on the French Broad before, so this was kind of new to me. But we were chatting and talking and just kind of hanging out, waiting for the rest of the group to show up. Hey, I didn't get a turtle head boy sticker. You got a hook, line, and paddle teeth shirt that I didn't get. I know. Okay. You know, I've only got one want. foreign sticker on my boat. You know who that is? Who's Monkey Ring? Monkey Ring? One foreign sticker so far. Who fix that? Well, I, no one. No one's earned the right to be on the boat. Oh, okay. Except, except <laughs> Monkey Ring. Well. Yeah, I know. I'm already rolling up my sleeves. As we got pushed off from the Bent Creek Access to get ready started going down our little 12-mile trip today, we all started realizing it's going to be a perfect day for it. There wasn't a cloud in the sky. It was supposed to be nice and warm. This was going to be a good day to get on the river. Of us YouTubers were sitting there. Adventure Outdoors, Taggy Act TV, Kayak Seven Seas, and myself. We were just paddling along, enjoying the day on the river. Each one taking another stroke down the river and adjusting your camera to get that good angle for a nice video. As we paddled through this little section, there were several little accesses on the right-hand side of the river and a couple little bridges over creeks that are privately owned by Biltmore Estate and not open to the public. But they were real nice accesses, good places to get in and off the river if you go through Biltmore Estate. We've been averaging 
a little over three miles an hour and really hadn't even been paddling hardly. We're about four miles into the trip. If you're looking for a way to track it, your trip, I really like this Garmin E-Trex. If you got it, Adventure Outdoors is test driving his new Tsunami 145 he just picked up. Coming up ahead, we got Seven Seas Kayak. Go check him out. He's on YouTube. Give him a little love. Leave him a comment. You got Taggy Yak TV up ahead. And Taggy Yak TV says we're how far? About that far on the map. About that far. Okay. Oh yeah, we got to go explore this. Too shallow right there? Yeah. I can't remember if this is when I found that old bottle or not. Kind of an 1870s um, bottle. Cool. Right there. This is a neat little creek we went to. Check it out. What are we getting your paddles wet? Now coming through the trees, you can see the, the top of the Biltmore Estate. some recent rains in the area over the past few weeks the water level today was pretty high and and subsequently that meant it was flowing pretty quick so this 12 mile trip didn't take us very long and we had it knocked out but what made it really nice was you were able to float down the river for the most part at, at about two and a half three miles an hour and you didn't even have to paddle none. So everybody was able to kind of just lay back and relax and enjoy a nice paddle and each other's company. Look at that. Adventure Steve. Did you bring your... It's the driest I've seen Shane in a long time since he went down a river. Usually never dry. Steve's deep in thought this afternoon. Get my, get my good side. He's fixing to get his taco on. <laughs> As we paddled down the river, everybody was raving about the white duck taco shop. And I figured, can it be that good? Well, when I walk in and see this many people in line, I figure something must be up. Well, there's nothing.
nothing left just about on these plates. They about cleaned all the plates up. So the white taco shop. White duck. White duck taco shop. Must be pretty good. In there. Yeah. After the white duck taco shop, we headed back to KOA East. Where a bunch of us just kind of hung out that evening. And we were going to hang around the campfire and just enjoy a nice peaceful evening in the mountains. If you're in the area, check out KOA East. They have a nice campground. We rented this little camping cabin for next to nothing. It was actually really nice and super clean. So, uh, Bobby Darren, what happened? Man, let me tell you. <laughs> where are we going? <laughs> We're going to the grocery store. Yeah, we're going to the grocery store because... But I don't know where it's at, so I'm hoping you're going to tell oh, me. Oh, no, it's up here. It. But we're going to the grocery store because we're sitting around camp and the ladies are smelling steak. And they're like, ooh, they're like, oh, hey, that smells we, good. We want some steaks. Go you get us some steak. get us some steak, yeah. So, we're like, okay. The men folk <laughs> got in the car and went and got steak. Right. Hey, it is what it is. We might even get a tater. <laughs> a tater too? <laughs> if you're in the Asheville area, go check out this section of the French Broad. It's a nice little section. No real rapids to speak of. A good little easy float. Perfect for beginners or anybody just wanting to enjoy a nice little day trip on the river. If you're up that way, check out the KOA East Asheville Campground. And definitely stop by the White Duck Taco Shop. And always remember, go get your paddles wet. Hey, if you want to come join us for a paddle, the next one scheduled is May the 18th. We're going to be joining Rock Outdoors in Lexington. For their first paddle of the season they're putting together a excursion on the uvoy river and we're going to be joining rock outdoors as we paddle a little short six mile section of the uvoy if you're interested in coming along contact the store and tell them monkeying around since you